okay so welcome back thank you for the amazing support you gave me on the last two videos and i'm also really sorry that my uploading schedule is bit crap uh, i have a lot of work in my university but still in my spare time i downloaded some mods and played with them these mods will enrich your experience and won't make the game too crazy for you the links for the mods will be down in the description below i know a lot of you guys that watch these videos are more experienced than i am so if you have something to add, don't forget and leave it down below in the comments. Mod time! So the first two mods, in my opinion, are essential to any playthrough. Let's start with speed up. This one is a lifesaver. It is very basic in what it does. And you know what? It speeds up the combat by two times. It makes it really helpful at catching the last ships at the end of the round. Usually the little pesky ones that fly around. And it also works if you want to skip uh, unimportant battles and make them faster so you don't have to fight for too long. After downloading this one, my experience was day and night. All right, so next one is console commands. This one I really enjoy and it is exactly what you think. You launch the command command line by control plus backspace and now you can write commands to fix some of the less fun parts of the game. For example, I sometimes use it to add stable location. I bet this happened to you. You saw a lovely planet, 250% hazard rating and you're like Damn, I like it. But such a shame the system doesn't have a stable location. But no worries, by adding some fun lines from Reddit, voila, a stable location. Also type help to see the commands. Right now I'm getting rich on credits. Okay, so now we are getting to the part where the mods change the game a bit more. Let's start with scaled up. This one is a simple one. It removes the gap from level 50 and it also decreases the amount of XP needed to level up. So this applies more in the late game, so you don't have to worry about spending the points wrong. You can continue to level up. Starship Legend. Uh, this mod will add quite a lot. It mainly plays around reputation. You and your fleet will gain reputation based on a performance. Depending if you do good or bad, you will get equivalent traits. You can see the progress after each and every battle and the mod allows you to see the report from the battle. This contains useful information about damage received and damage done so you can see which of your ships are doing the best. Also in this mod you can find special bounty missions for ships with high reputation ranging from all tiers. And now let's add some more content with ship and weapon pack. This one is great, it adds a lot of variety to your game and it spices things up. It adds a lot of new ships, skins, weapons and the best part is that they are all nicely balanced. Also the last thing I really love about this mod are the boss bounties. These boss bounties are quite challenging so you have something to do with your late game fleet and you don't get bored. Next on our list is the Veyra's ship pack. Hope I pronounced it right. This one is simple, it adds cool balance ships into the game. Also, we have the big brother or sister, the Veyra's sector. I have heard a lot of good things about this mod. I have installed it, but I'm not sure if it's working for me. So that is my bad and you should definitely try it out. So important thing, if you are getting into the mods, don't forget to check the support mod. So usually cool mods like these require other mods like lazy lip or graphics lip to even work. So don't forget to check it out and install them. And talking about installation, it's quite simple. Open the star sector folder and import the downloaded mods into the mods file inside. Then in the game launcher, you will find mods where you have to take the mods on so they are active. I know I have only covered a small portion of mods available, but these mods are the mods that I have personally tried out and had blast doing so. And also without breaking my game or making it too easy. So I hope you enjoyed it. It really makes my day when you leave your thoughts down below. And if you really enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Thank you for your support guys. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Subscribe.